Water hemlock, a deadly poisonous plant. What you're looking at is water hemlock. This species is Cicuta. It's one of the most deadly poisonous plants in North America. You get to know this, baby. It's not poison hemlock, it's water hemlock. Much more poisonous. <laughs> Let me reiterate, water hemlock, Cicuta species, is one of the most deadly poisonous plants in North America. You can see it's right next to my chair. <laughs> right on our river, where Leah and I come out every evening to pimp. This is the pimping area, and this is the deadly water hemlock, right where we're sitting. We're not going to touch it or eat it, but we're not going to kill it because it's important to the biome, and we may need to kill someone. <laughs> now, water hemlock can be deadly. It contains a toxin called psychotoxin. It's a violent convulsive, which acts as a stimulant in the central nervous system. Ingestion of, of this poisonous water hemlock can be fatal and symptoms can occur in 15 minutes. Initial symptoms include rapid onset of seizure, along with nausea, vomiting, muscle twitch, increased pulse, excessive salivation, and frothing at the mouth. Dilation of the pupils. And there it is. Uh, it's about four feet high, this one. Come in and look at the leaf really well. It looks like cow parsnip. It looks like something in the carrot family, and it is. It's very dangerous if you're out there looking for Queen Anne's lace and you pick this up your first day of wild harvesting and you're dead. But it's very easy to tell from the others based on this leaf. So, very obvious leaf. It's a perennial plant growing to three to seven feet. Leaves are 15 inches long and almost fern-like. Alternately arranged, tripinnately compound with two to five inch ovate leaflets. They're abruptly sharp toothed as well. The leaf veins terminate at the bottom of the leaf, leaf serrations and not at the tips. And there's the flower which uh, immature looks just like Queen Anne's lace and mature looks a little bit like cow parsnip. The flowers are white and tiny. <clears throat> so each of those little white dots is a flower. Not these balls, but that ball consists of dozens of little flowers. So each one of those white circles is a flower. And if you look at them with a little lens, you see five petals and five stamens. They grow in umbrella-like clusters, two to eight inches across. This one is three and a half, four inches. That one's four and a half, five inches. Umbrella-like, looks just like an umbrella, doesn't it, kids? It's fun, it also looks like a, a white Smurf mushroom hat. More like a white umbrella. The family as Apatia, formerly Umbelliferae, commonly known as a carrot or the parsley family. Typically a wetland plant, commonly on pastures or tilled areas. It occurs in wet, fertile soils at the edge of water. Literally, five feet from the edge of the river. Similar species include poison hemlock, conium maculatum, which is sometimes confused with the water hemlock. 
Differences are in the root and leaf structure. Poison hemlock has a single tap root and the leaf veins run through the tips of the leaf serrations. Water parsnip, lake hemlock, grows in similar habitat near water edges. And both have clusters of white flowers, but water parsnip has bracts or leaf-like structures at the base of the flowers and the main flower head, where water hemlock only has bracts at the base of each small flower. So, historically, it is said that some Native American tribes once used hemlock to poison the tips of their arrows. This was for hunting purposes and may be useful in the Grand Solar Minimum. Get to know your wild edibles. Be safe. This one's not an edible.